Oh, hello, welcome to another video here on the Retro Bear channel. And it's another pickup video, and it's been a fairly quiet old week, really. So, uh, not much to show you this week, not much to report. It's uh, just been rather busy on the home and work front. But we did manage to pick up a few things, and rather strangely, uh, not out in the shops, actually bought these from Amazon. Just a couple of things to show through this week, and uh, a bit of a, an update as well. I'm going to be trying to do next. Um, time permitting of course you'll also notice that we've improved the audio as well which is a, a bit of an improvement as I'm sure you can tell because the last few videos have been on the rather quiet side for which I can only apologize uh, I think as each video goes along there'll be little improvements here there and everywhere and you'll start to notice a difference in terms of the quality and also um, the looking at the things and how the videos come across so let's get on with what we've picked up as we said there's a few things to show you this week but uh, some interesting titles shall we say uh, first up and again I'm going to try and get my coordination right is I'll come put it over here there we go is Demolition Girl on the PlayStation 2 now um, this is one of those classic cases where you should always make sure that you're completely confident of what you're buying now when I first saw this game um, uh, on a few internet sites I thought, oh, that looks rather interesting, those tacky covers I like. Um, and this one uh, appears to have a woman on the front and some um, fighter jets at a city. And I'm thinking, oh, that'll be quite interesting, it'll look like a sort of a spy type game. Absolutely, completely wrong. Because um, when I did a bit of research on it, I actually found out that this game was basically trying to stop a bikini clad 50 foot possibly even taller woman from destroying things and the idea was you were to try and distract her from doing that um, it's a game with a pretty poor reputation I haven't played it yet this actually came sealed um, so I'm, I'm gonna get my teeth into that at some point but that's not quite what I thought I was buying but there we go you learn by your mistakes but it's another one for the collection it's also by 505 games which has PlayStation 2 collectors know they do have a bit of a, a budget reputation for producing some titles late in the PlayStation 2's life, some of which are, are quite collectible. This one, not so. You can pick it up fairly cheaply for a couple of quid. A uh, bit more than I usually spend on things, as regular viewers will know. But even so, this is definitely one which I'm going to uh, enjoy picking up at some point and, and probably putting down again as quickly as I did. Uh, next one. Actually, this one. Um, this is. I'll bring it over here and you'll see it. God, I'm getting terrible at this. This is. There we go, see it there. Deep Water. Now, I thought this was based on a film. Went a bit closer. Uh, there's a picture of a shark on the front. There was a film a few years ago where um, two people got trapped in a raft. And I think that's now, I've more or less remembered it was called Open Water. So I thought this was a game about uh, that film. Uh, actually, it's not. Um, it's one of those cases where, once again, we should... Look and see what we're buying first, folks. Learn from your mistakes. This one's actually to sort of do with uh, going on um, various missions and battling giant cuttlefish and sea serpents and all sorts of bits and pieces. Uh, completely not what I was expecting. Uh, also from our friends at 505 Games, so another one of those budget titles which has got a bit of a, a poor reputation. Again, not really sure much about this game at all. Haven't played it yet. And again, cost me a couple of quid. So we'll see how we get on with that one. And the final one, another one of 505 game specials, let's try it, <laughs> oh dear me, I'll work this out one of these days, there we go, this is just called Dodgeball, there we go, see that there, again it's a 505 games special, um, and this one's a little interesting because what it's, it does on this game is it tries to uh, incorporate figures from the past into sort of international teams. I've seen a, a video on YouTube where there's a team of uh, English kings playing a load of Greek philosophers uh, in dodgeball. Again, no idea if it's any good at all, but it was only a couple of quid. So around about £2 each on all these, but they've all come sealed. They're all brand new out of Amazon. And uh, the purpose of, of sort of getting out of them fairly quickly, I ordered them on a Sunday afternoon, and they arrived the following day, which is fantastic. So you can't ask for better service on that. Interesting to see where they go. They're, uh, I'm not expecting a great deal from those three games, but even so, I think uh, worthwhile purchase added to the collection, which, as you can see, is still um, growing as we speak. And you can always check out what games I do own on Retro Collect if you search under Retro Bear, and you will see all my collection statistics there. 
Now, moving forward, what we're going to try and do, to ra ta ra and I'm sure many of you will be waiting for this, is to try and produce some gameplay videos. I have at the moment the old GameCube plugged in, which I'm pretty sure, uh, if you can just see here, there we go. There we go, just try that there, you can see the GameCube is ready to go. Uh, not quite got to any gameplay as such yet, so I'm not sure where we're going to start. Ideally, I'll just move this, uh, move this back, um, we'll probably go alphabetically. Um, I've got about, about 30 to 40 GameCube games altogether, so uh, I've not played many of them, but the GameCube was the only console that I have ever purchased on the day of release. Um, when it first came out with Star Wars, uh, Rogue Leader and Super Monkey Ball. I had a great deal amount of fun on that but I did get disillusioned with the GameCube to start with because not a lot of great games came out to start with. Yes, Luigi's Mansion was a, a fairly um, early release for it uh, but beyond that there wasn't really an awful lot and in fact I ended up trading in the GameCube for um, an Xbox, which I still have. I've still got the original Xbox. I changed it in for all those years ago. But uh, I still enjoy the GameCube. There's a lot of great games for it. And I have actually managed to pick up uh, Mario Kart Double Dash, Super Mario Sunshine, uh, Dushing the Giant, um, so, uh, Sonic Adventure. Um, I've got the Star Wars games, Clone Wars, which I've been playing a little bit of, uh, which I showed you a few weeks ago and pick up. So there are some good titles to play there and there's some... Uh, some interesting couple of sports titles in there as well if we try and work our way through but that's going to be the idea to try and run a few of those videos upcoming rather than just show you what i've bought because given the way things are at the moment work wise it's going to be a bit difficult to get out there and pick anything up we shall see how we get on anyway and anything i do pick up obviously i'll share with you guys out there so that's really it for the time being um not a lot to report but hopefully if i can get some time this week we'll start putting some gameplay videos up and you'll be able to see just how bad I am at playing games. I may love games, I may live for games, but can I play them? Not really, but we shall see anyway. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to uh, check through all the videos on there. Um, you'll get to see sort of evidence from six years ago where I did some really, really, really bad um, game playing on the Commodore 64. We'll be digging all sorts of bits and pieces out. Um, hopefully, uh, try and do a few different machines we go along but we're definitely going to start with the GameCube anyway but anyway thanks for watching hope to see you again soon and uh, keep gaming